Hey everyone, it's Miss Ryan. Today I'm going to show you, because today is day 18 for our chicken eggs, I'm gonna show you how we're going to prepare for what's called lockdown or off tray. What that means is because our chicken eggs are gonna hatch the next couple days, we have to change a couple things inside the incubator, things like humidity. We also have to take out our movable egg tray because our eggs are no longer going to need to turn as they're going to prepare to hatch. So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm going to do this today. All right, uh, first thing I'm gonna show you is how I've been calculating humidity. Uh, so there's a really simple method you can use and it's called the wet dry bulb method. Uh, for our incubator here, there's a digital setting on the top or a, a th thermometer that's measuring in Celsius. And right now, or for the first 18 days, it's been 38 degrees Celsius. So I've got what's called my dry bulb thermometer reading, which is the digital one that's a part of the incubator. What I've done to measure humidity is I needed to combine both knowing what the dry temperature was inside the incubator as well as what's called the wet bulb temperature. So the way I've done this is I've taken a piece of paper towel, I've dipped it in water, squeezed out the excess water so it was just a moist uh, paper towel. I secured it to the bottom of the bulb for the thermometer and I've had that inside the incubator for about five minutes because of course we needed the temperature to have a chance to adjust. Okay, and my dry, my dry bulb temperature has stayed at 38 degrees Celsius, but my wet bulb temperature uh, showed after five minutes to be 27 degrees. So what that means is I'm going to take you over here. There's a really simple chart that you can use to calculate your humidity. So here, the Google machine, I just typed in calculating humidity and I wanted my relative humidity chart. Okay, it's really simple. If you look at the top of our chart or our table here, it shows us to find what the dry bulb temperature was minus the wet bulb temperature, okay? So for my dry bulb temperature, I know that I had 38 degrees Celsius because that's what our incubator had the setting for. That was the standard for chicken eggs for the first 18 days. My wet bulb reading of my thermometer when I went inside the incubator for about five minutes came out to 27 degrees Celsius. So I know that difference is 11 degrees, okay? When I go over to my chart, I know that the dry bulb temperature minus the wet bulb was 11. So that's between 10 and 12, of course. And then the other part of our chart here says dry bulb temperature. So remember that my dry bulb temperature was 38 and the difference between my dry bulb and my wet bulb was between 10 and 12, which means that my relative humidity was between 39 and 47%, okay? So here we go, 39 to 47%. Now for the first 18 days, it's recommended that the humidity setting inside for our eggs is between 40 and 50%. And again, my reading today was between 39 and 47, which is perfect. So very exciting that we have these optimal conditions, which makes sense because our chicken eggs, all 10 are growing. So definitely worked out really well. Thank you, Magic Fly. Um, I did keep the humidity at this level by every two days adding in about 100 milliliters of water. Again, this has been a really easy incubator. It's been a pretty much set it and forget it besides just adding the water in about every two days. All right, so again, we had those optimal conditions we were looking for. Now today, day 18 to 21, we wanna increase our humidity now to 65 to 75%. I'm gonna be doing that by adding in those wet sponges like I described. I'm also gonna add a little bit more water into our lower base tray. And then I'll be checking every couple hours to do that wet dry bulb math again, just to make sure that I'm falling in that optimal range for 65 to 75%. Again, today we're adjusting our settings for our optimal hatch conditions, and this is how you do this simply at home. For those of you uh, Americans that would like to know how this is converted into Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius for our dry temperature inside the incubator, it comes out to a little bit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Today we are gonna to also drop down that dry temperature inside the incubator to 37.5, which comes out to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit inside. A Little bit cooler for that hatching period that we want. Okay, all right, so for today, we are now going to move on to taking out the eggs. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm also going to take out that movable egg tray like I was mentioning. Uh, it's really important whenever you're handling the eggs to make sure that your hands are clean. So I have washed my hands with soap and water and dried them off. You also don't want to have wet hands when you're touching your eggs. You never want to touch an egg with water because you don't want that water to sit on the shell for too long because that can cause problems inside for the embryo. So again, dry, clean hands when you're handling your eggs. All right, so I'm going to use a towel here to set them out. 
I'm not going to check them right now with the egg handler, though I do have it. Um, I'm first going to focus on taking each of them out carefully and gently to rest on my towel. I'm going to take out those parts that I described. I'm going to add that water in. And then I'm going to check our eggs with the egg handler to once again make sure that everything looks good, like everything is growing. This is the movable egg tray for the Magic Fly Incubator. There's a pin that's been rotating, and as the pin rotates, it carries the tray back and forth inside. Remember that if you're not sure if your eggs are turning, you can use a pencil to gently write a number on your egg, like I did here. So for each of my eggs, I had 10 all together. I numbered them 1 through 10. Uh, and you can mark them and then have them all lay marked side up and put them into your movable egg tray and set them in the incubator. Come back in a couple hours, lift up the incubator's hood and look inside. And obviously if your movable egg tray is working, you shouldn't see all of them with the numbers facing up. They should be rotated. And again, your mark would show you that because it should be different than when you set it in. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of these out. And again, at this point on day 18, the embryos take up most of the space inside the egg. So when I do use my egg handler to show you guys how they're looking inside, there won't be very much to see because their feathers um, are taking up a lot of room and their body weight. So there won't be a whole lot of space to see through with the light, which is exciting because they're getting so big. All right, so I'm gonna take out my movable egg tray. I'm also going to take out this, it's called the base tray. It also has rails, so the movable egg tray is able to sit in this part, and with the rails, it stays in this guided position to move back and forth as they've been turning for the last 18 days, so that's that part. I'm going to take this out. That leaves just this last tray that's on the bottom, which is called the hatching tray, so this gives a lot more space inside for these little babies once they hatch out of their egg to able to stand up and flip up their new feathers. All right, we're also going to leave them in here for a several hours after they hatch, if not maybe up to 10 or 12. And that's been recommended. I'm only adding in about 50 milliliters of water right now. Again, today I'm gonna to be kind of monitoring and adjusting humidity as needed because I'm trying to get it to that 65 to 75% range. And again, remember that I don't want my eggs to sit on any water. So I just added the water in, but I'm also gonna take a paper towel and dry off the tray so that once I set my eggs in here, they're not sitting on any water. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take my sponge. So again, I took a clean sterile sponge out of a pack and I'm gonna start small with this today. Again, I'm gonna adjust as needed. So I'm just gonna cut my sponge into four sections. And I think what I'd like to do today is I'm gonna start with two. So I'm gonna put these in water and then I'm gonna squeeze them out so they're not dripping. And then I'm gonna set these on my tray, okay, um, in the center. And then I'm gonna place my eggs around in an oval, right, to have enough space inside. Again, I'm constantly making sure that my hands are not wet as I want to make sure that I don't get any of these eggs wet with water droplets. All right, and I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to take my egg handler. I'm going to show you each egg as we go to put them in. And again, I'm going to track them now because they each been numbered. So I know who hatches. All right. you guys can see. All right, pretty good. All right, so I'm starting with egg eight. This is our white egg. And it's gonna be pretty hard to see because like I said, it's taking up most of the space, but I see him moving. So this is egg eight, which looks great. I'm gonna put him in here. There's some movement. Probably doesn't like me shining light inside, but you can see it moving. So this is egg nine. All 
All right, next is egg seven. So again, I'm just looking to see that we've got movement, which we do. So hopefully you can see that there on the camera. All right, so seven. And of course, for fun and my math people, I'm definitely gonna put these in order by number. So six. So we had movement in there. This is a really big egg, actually. It's hard to tell. So that was six. Now I'm looking for five. For those of you that are new with the magic fly, again, this is my first time using this incubator. I've been really impressed. Um, I did go in because I have 10 eggs, if anyone was wondering. Uh, they recommend with the magic fly that you don't, for chicken eggs, do more, or they say it's up to nine. Uh, and this is egg 10 I just put in, very tiny egg. Um, and what I'm getting at is I did go in and hand turn, again, with clean, dry hands. I did my own turning about once a day or twice a day, just to make sure that with the extra egg in there that they were turning. And again, all 10 of my eggs are, are growing, which is awesome. So it shows that even having the extra egg in there, you know, more than they had, you know, necessarily recommended, it worked out fine. Uh, if you go online, many people will, many people will hand turn their eggs themselves. All right, so I'm looking at number five and I'm noticing that we have some growth on the inside that looks unusual to me, but I see the vessels of the egg are are pulsating. So I know that the, the chicken is alive, but I do notice that there's some unusual, unusual growth in here. So we'll have to see what that means. That's a first for me, so I'll definitely look at that. That's egg five. And I got a couple more, so I'm trying to find four. Here he is. Four is taking up a lot of space, if you can see. Looking really good. Yep, and we got some movement there, so that's egg four. And I'm kind of spacing them out inside. This is number three. Again, taking up most of the space inside, so I'm finding the other end. This definitely shows they're in hatching position. There's just a little bit of space here left. Oh, there he is. So there's three. It's definitely a heavier side to them. This is two. Yep, we got some movement, so that's two. Finally, another really small one. So there's definitely movement inside, if you can see the color of the light changing. So this one's taking up most of the space inside, and then there's that air bubble. All right. So we are looking good. All right, so I have my wet sponge in here. And again, I don't want my eggs necessarily to get wet, so I have them away from the sponges. I'm going to set my incubator back on. I adjusted my temperature to 
and I added a little bit of extra water in there. And I'm just gonna come back and check on my humidity settings again in a couple hours and give it some time to adjust. And hopefully we'll be within our optimal range, but yay. So again, today's day 18. Uh, sometimes the chickens will start hatching on day 20, which would be Saturday. Uh, today's Thursday, so it's very exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, leave comments or send me emails. All right. Have a great day, everyone.